Uncle C back in the office and in this video I'm going to be discussing the tell all signs that a woman or the woman that you're seeing is monkey branching. Now for those of you that don't know, monkey branching is essentially, if you think of it like, if a monkey is swinging from one branch it doesn't let go of this one until it has this one and vice versa, right? Each one it keeps going down the line. So this means that if you're seeing a woman, this means that she is ultimately lining up her replacements, okay? Now I'm gonna be breaking down this very in depth why women find replacements ultimately, how to see and how to tell if your woman is potentially doing this. Not to mention this is stuff and this is tools that will last a lifetime so that way you don't get dumped, heartbroken, burned, or cheated on, okay? There's three categories if a woman is monkey branching, okay? The first category that she's going to do is going to be emasculation and this is towards you. The second category is new validation and what she's actually looking for. And the third category is her being argumentative. These are the only three categories and if you can master these, ca these categories and at the end of it, I'm even gonna give you some jujitsu, right? Some, some ability to overcome these when she's doing it, you're going to be in a rock solid place. Let's dive into the very first one, okay? Emasculation. What does this mean? This means that she is essentially stripping you of your balls, okay? When I say stripping you of your balls, this means that she no longer feels that she should be following your lead and ultimately she doesn't even feel that she should respect you. So what is emasculation? Well, when a woman doesn't follow your lead, this is when you have a plan, you have a mission, or you have a way that the relationship operates. Maybe this is the context of how both of you speak. This is your guys' sub-communication and she's completely distant, right? She does not necessarily fit that frame anymore. All of a sudden she's going her own way, she's doing her own thing. This is the first tell-all sign, okay? If your woman is not following your lead, here's what you have to know, she's getting less submissive by the day and ultimately attraction is lowering every single second that you're still staying with her. The second thing that she's going to do in the category of emasculation is she's going to make you feel incompetent, okay? What does that mean? That means if there's, I'll give you examples. If there's a box that you guys just bought, you know, like a, let, let's say you're putting something together, a new shelf. She'll purposely do things like steal the directions from you so you can't see them because she thinks you're not smart enough to put it together. Or she'll say things like, let me do it, or don't worry about it, or I'll take care of all this. If she's making you feel incompetent, this is her saying, hey, I don't think you're smart enough or I don't think you're man enough to do X, Y, Z, and because of that, I'll just do it for you and I'll wear the pants in the relationship and and I'll be the man in this situation as well. These are things that you're going to see. Keep in mind, this does not even necessarily mean that you're doing a whole hell of a lot wrong in the relationship. These are just signs and ultimately maybe a few tests that you have not yet overcame. The next thing is going to be criticism. Okay, criticism in the point that you will start to feel like you can't do anything right. If a woman is attempting to make you feel like you can't do anything right, this is where what ultimately you will see is men who will change themselves in order to fit the premise of what they thought she wanted him to be. And then ultimately when he acts that way and he starts bending his frame and bending his boundaries, what's gonna happen is her attraction will lower. The next thing is she will start to compare you to other men and or withhold sex. And what this does ultimately is this screws with a guy's mental state, okay? If any of this is happening, there has been a flat out loss of respect. Now, what do we know about women? A woman can never love you and a woman will never love you if she does not respect you. Here's why. What we know is that women perceive love far differently than men. So the way a woman perceives love is ultimately how alpha, how strong, how dominant, how good your demeanor is. And ultimately, if you have that demeanor, there's gonna be lots of respect. The only way that she can fully follow your lead, the only way that she can fully love you, fully be submissive, fully be feminine, fully trust your lead, is ultimately if you're in your masculine frame. So, what do you do if you see this start to happen? You dissolve the relationship. You don't threaten to dissolve it. You tell her, hey, because of your bad attitude, this relationship is not working and I'm not going to stand for this. That's the first, the first category. If you can start to master that, you're gonna be miles ahead of virtually everybody. The second that you have to be well aware of is when she's seeking for new validation. New validation can be disrespectful and or scandalous pics. Picks that look like she's single, her promoting her body. This is going to be a seductive attitude when you're not around her. Ultimately, this can also be her searching for a bigger, better option. Long girls' nights out without telling you. 
following new men on social media or big physical changes. This is the biggest one you have to work for. Excuse me, you have to look for. If she is ultimately buying new clothes, getting new hair, getting her hair done differently, if she looks drastically different, if her attitude is consistently flirtatious with everybody else except you, she is on her way out. Here's why this happened. You have probably failed one too many shit tests. You have probably lost your masculine frame one too many times. And not to mention the biggest reason why I see this happen time and time again is the man starts to mold himself into what he thinks she wants him to be. Oftentimes this will be to the guy who didn't necessarily commit in the beginning, then he committed and what you're going to see is slow death by a thousand cuts. If you notice any of these things, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to set the frame and say, listen, if you're going to be with me, you are not going to act like this. Do you understand? If she says no, if she puts on her big girl pants and says, I can do whatever I want, or she starts to push those buttons, here's what you're going to do. Once again, you're going to dissolve the relationship. The last piece is being argumentative with you. If a woman's argumentative with you, what she's doing is she's setting you up with verbal frames of control to outsmart you to make it seem like the agenda of every conversation is your fault. Why the cohesion is not necessarily smooth. So I'll give you an example of things women will say. They'll say things like, Hey, you're trying to change me even when you're not. They're trying to make you seem like you're overstepping. The second thing is you're going to hear this line time and time again. She's going to claim that you don't love her. You just love the idea of her or that you just want to control her, that you want to possess her. You will hear women who start to classify you as a weaker beta male say these things. The next is a tone of voice shows constant nagginess or constant bitchiness. And in short, she doesn't think that you have the balls to dump her because of that. She doesn't think that you have the balls to stand up to her. She does not think that you are masculine enough to be with her. These are the things that you're going to see now to give you context clues. Why is it that I, I, I give you advice to dissolve the relationship? Here's the fact when you dissolve the relationship with a woman with full control and full conviction that when you dissolve it, there's no going back. Like she bit the hand that feeds because of that. You're emotionally detached enough to say no. When you show that framework that shows massive strength, that shows categories and that shows traits that a woman would want to be with. When you're able to do that, here's what's going to happen. Nine times out of 10, naturally, she will ask, what can I do to make this better? A week will go by two weeks will go by. She probably won't find any better options. Or here's the funny thing. All of the options she did have that she assumed were better. Those guys start to make the exact same mistakes as well. And then she goes, Oh, shit, I already had history with this guy. I already had narrative with this guy. I already had communication built with this guy. And most often than not, they will come back. Now, here's what I can tell you is if you dissolve the relationship, you have to do it without an agenda. You have to do it assuming that there is no going back. And you have to do this assuming that a woman will never come back into your frame. And that's okay. Because when you fully mean what you say, that shows up in your demeanor. And that is extremely powerful. Fellas, if you like this video, what I want you to do is go down below and check out the men's MBT webinar. For those of you who have struggled with women time and time again, countless years over, maybe it's women pulling back, women ghosting you, you not necessarily having conviction within your masculine core and knowing how to speak to women. This is going to clear up everything. This webinar is brand new shop for 2022. And I think you're in for one hell of a ride. So go down below register for that. The second question I get asked time and time again, I get 100 DMS a day that say, Hey, Casey, how do I work with you? In order to work with me, I have a gatekeeper. Okay, the gatekeeper is Cole. This is my brother. What he's doing is he's running interviews for the men's full stack one percenter program. And if you go down below and you click the link to the men's full stack one percenter program, he's going to interview you. He's going to see if you're a fit to work one to one with me. And if you are, you're going to be extended the invitation to do so. Guys, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.